College is expensive, and anyone will agree with this. For many people, going to college means borrowing student loans. Well, people also know that their student loans will have to be paid back one day. In today's video, we're going to discuss whether you should go to college in 2022. Stay tuned to find out. Many students often rack up six figures in student loans for jobs that pays them $40,000 per year. It's especially because we are told our whole lives that college is the ticket to get out of poverty and because many jobs are provided only if you have a college degree. Well, sometimes high school graduates just don't know what else to do. By visiting college, they at least get the opportunity to start working towards some kind of goal. Unfortunately, some college grades aren't worth the problem that they take and are definitely not comparable to the cost. Many people find their college degree useless when it's too late to do anything about it. A recent study from the Foundations for Center on Equal Opportunity spread the value suggestions that various college degree programs outplay. The report shows how the return on investment modifies across almost 30,000 different bachelor's degree programs. After carefully looking at the data, FREOPP calculates that the median bachelor's degree has a net ROI of $306,000 for those who finish on time. This means they believe these degree programs will add $306,000 to the graduate's lifetime earnings after reducing the costs assigned for school. However, accounting for the risk of not graduating the central value of a bachelor's degree dropped to, to $129,000. When you evaluate the ROIs of all the degree programs they profiled in their study, these factors lead to a result, where more than a section of bachelor's degree programs have a negative ROI. But you do have some superficies over whether you graduate or not, and you would only enter college if you hope to finish school. According to the study, your college major is the one factor that can help you determine if the juice is worth the squeeze. And not surprisingly, all the degree programs that don't certainly tie into a long-term career field fall short of others that do. Some areas of study, including engineering, computer science, nursing, and economics can generate returns of $1 million or more than that. Others, including art, music, religion, and psychology often have a zero or even negative net financial value. In other words, obtaining a bachelor's degree in religious studies or art history could leave you worse off financially for life than if you hadn't even gone to college at all. If you are liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now, let's continue. How long you'll go to college is another important determinant of whether your degree will be worth it and by how much. 16% of program have an adverse ROI when they are completed in 4 years, but that figure jumps to 21% for those who take 5 years to earn their degree. If you take 6 years to complete college, the amount of programs with a negative ROI increases to 27%. Well, the school you attend can also play a major role in the value of your degree program. The study reveals that many for-profit colleges have a poor ROI, which is not surprising assuming the high cost of private schools. In fact, private schools' educations can cost more than what it costs to attend a public college in your state. It is estimated to show that tuitions and fees at the average public four-year school worked out to $10,740 for the 2021-2022 school year for in-state students. By contrast, private, non-profit four-year schools charge students an average of $38,070 per year. There are different places to do more research. Some of the best tools out there are from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, including their Occupational Outlook Handbook, and their Occupational Employment and Which Statistics homepage. Both tools make it practical to research careers you may be eager in, then to tie those careers to relevant degree programs that can assist you in getting there. You can even look at national or regional occupational wages in one place, then filter to see which jobs pays the maximum money. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is useful because it allows you to read more about certain careers and their average salaries with updated numbers included. For instance, you can find out that computer and information system managers earn a median annual wage of $151,150 nationally as of May 2020. But the top 25% in this career field earn more like $191,470. You can even use a page to learn which industries pays computer and information system managers the most, or which states and metropolitan areas pay them the high important. After all, you can always receive a different degree and take part in shows during your free time. Well, everyone knows you don't want a degree to be an actor. In any case, the key to understanding the difference is knowledge, and that knowledge is easier to find now than ever before. Before you invest tens of thousands of dollars into a bachelor's degree, find out how much that degree will even cost you, and what you can expect to earn once you have it. 
You may not like what you discover, but your future self will definitely thank you. Are you going to take admission in college? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. See you soon. Thanks for watching.